What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a Quackleval team. And not just any Quackleval team, this Quackleval team I believe placed number third in the first Grand Challenge, which is really good. It was built by Sempra VGC, I think, but I first saw it when my friend John Luke used it on his channel, so I'll link both of them down in the description below. The idea here is that this is a lot of best of one tech. We've got Choice Band Dragapult, Choice Specs Archaladon, and Choice Scarf Pelipper for triple choice. And then a Quackwaval with Upper Hand, which is a cool tech. Rillaboom and King Gambit are pretty normal. The Scarf Pelipper has Tailwind, which is like kind of scary to lock into, but you can catch a lot of things by surprise by being faster than them. And Specs Archaladon with Sturdy, especially with Electric Terra, can do so much damage with Electro Shot. And then Quackleval loves the rain because it's Aqua Step, which gives it a speed boost, might be able to pick up a KO and give it a Moxie boost. So I'm excited to try this team out. Let's jump into some battles. All right, we've got a standard team. Primarina, Magmar, King Gambit, Sneasler, Dragapult, Rillaboom. Seeing this team a lot. This team just has Magmar over Electabuzz, which is a common variant. What is this team's plan into that team? Electro Shot seems very nice. I would love to just lock into that. Yeah, why not just Pelipper Archaladon, Scarf Specs, try to blow something up turn one, and get a huge advantage there. Then Quackleval can come in, get a speed boost with its Aqua Step, mess them up there. I'm liking that. And then as a closer, oh, Dra Dragon Darts isn't great. They've got King Gambit, and they've got Primarina. Rillaboom isn't great because they have five grass resists and a Primarina. King Gambit's alright. If I'm worried about their Dragapult, which I kind of am, honestly, I don't love fighting their Dragapult, so maybe I do want my own King Gambit. I have to worry about Sneasler, but it's really just our Chaladon that's worried about Sneasler. So far. I think King Gambit's fine. It's good into their Dragapult, it's good into their Rillaboom. It's not good into their Magmar. But do you bring Magmar into the rain matchup? I don't know. Also time ran out it looks like on their end, but I'm gonna assume they got in whatever they wanted to get in. I assume they clicked some buttons. Cool trainer card. I don't miss that bear. Some people are saying, like, bring back Urshifu, and I'm like, really? Are you for real? I mean, I get that Sneasler is annoying, but... Okay, here we go. Hurricane Sneasler, Terra Electric, Electro Shot. I can get faked out. I mean, Hurricane Sneasler... If you're Sash, you get a close combat onto my Arch. I'm sturdy anyway. I don't really feel the need to Terra because of my Sturdy. Hurricane, Sneasler, Electroshot, Primarina. With Specs it should be enough, I don't think I need the Terra boost offensively. I don't want a Terra because if they fake out Arch, I want to stay resistant to Hyper Voice. Sneasler's probably Grassy Seed, right? You could be Sash. It is fake out into Arch. Let's see if you're Sash or not. You're basically giving me Sneasler if you're not Sash. Okay, it is Sash Sneasler. But we can't tell if it's Poison Touch or not. Moonblast into Pelipper takes it out! Is that Life Orb? Yeah, that's Life Orb. Okay. Pin the Sneasler with Sucker Punch and throw another Electro Shot, right? Yeah. Seems fine to me. I want to go to Quaquavel here, but it's not the way. Pin you with Sucker Punch, throw an Electro Shot. You can get around that by swapping and protecting. Am I feeling lucky? I feel like my opponent. I'm getting in my own head. I'm gonna make 
the obvious play and make my opponent react to it. Because this Electroshot will do a surprising amount of damage because they probably don't know I'm Specs. They do swap the Sneasler. That could have been... Oh, I don't actually want to touch the Magmar. They could be Flame Body. Primarina just protects. So then it's going to be a Will-O-Wisp into my King Gambit, maybe? I do get the special attack boost here. It's going to make me deal a lot more damage later. So honestly, I don't I don't hate how that went. I'll protect King Gambit, Electroshot, Primarina again. Gonna have to connect this someday. And if I preserve... Okay, they can no longer trigger Unburden with Sneasler if they have it, but they do a fake out. So if my Quackwavall gets a speed boost at any point, then I can upper hand the Sneasler when it goes for fake out. Because I need to be faster to do that. I would like to get a speed boost on Quackleball at some point, but I don't see a good point to swap it in. Primarina swap. I'm guessing your fourth is Rillaboom. Dragapult? I would love to hit Dragapult with a plus two Electro Shot. I don't mind that one bit. After, you get, after taking any damage, you're going to be within range of Sucker Punch even if you Dragon Terra now. Also, this is going to do a chunk. Dragapult is frail. That is a chunk! Why couldn't it have been, like, two more damage? Like, yeah, I can't Sucker Punch because the Magmar is, is playing games, but... Oh, buddy. Two turns of rain remain. Quackwaval getting burned wouldn't... King Gambit getting burned wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, honestly. Lockdown Dragapult. They use, what, follow me here? They probably do. Yeah, I'll kowtow the Magmar and try to Electroshot Dragapult just in case they don't. But yeah, they did use follow me. Okay. I'm not too worried about what Dragapult can do. Oh, yes I am. It's Outrage. That's incredible. Because that Outrage went into King Gambit, now you're locked into Outrage. If this Electroshot Kowtow Cleave takes the Magmar, oh, then you would go into Sneasler and fake out my King Gambit. Yeah, you have to do that. Because I got a free Sucker Punch lined up now. Oh, wait, no! Just Electroshot took out Magmar? I thought it would live that. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Well, then. Primarina and a 1 HP Sneasler. Oh, I can lock down Sneasler. Do I click Electro Shot this turn? If I Sucker Punch Sneasler, I don't get anything. I should preserve my Sash. This is the last turn of Rain. A Fake Out into Archaladon means Archaladon becomes useless. I could protect King Gambit and try to Electroshot this turn. I should protect King Gambit and I should actually bring in Quackwaval. Our Chaladon can at least come back and Flash Cannon later. No. I'm gonna try to Electroshot the Primarina. There's, they probably don't let me. They're terastalizing. They might let me. They might let me. Wait, Sneasler. Interstellar. Oh, they're going for the close combat on the arch. Okay. They didn't think I would sucker punch there. You know what? That's fine. That was a good play. You definitely called what I was was doing there. But what I was doing was basically giving up Arch.
and trying to Moonblast my King Gambit. Okay, so I cannot safely Terra. <laughs> Alright, so I go into Quaquavel with my beautiful Sash intact. I pin the Sneasler with Sucker Punch. Where will I want to Terra? I don't know yet. Pin the Sneasler with Sucker Punch. Get a speed boost with Aqua Step on the Prima Arena. Then next turn I'm faster than Sneasler. Primarina's Life Orb, so I don't think Terrastalizing will change the KO. Yeah, Sneasler protects. They're making the right calls, because I need to Sucker Punch into the Sneasler there. I was already faster than Primarina. That does no damage. That's not good. But it's Moonblast into King Gambit, who hangs on. Perfect. A Terra 80 is 160. A close Combat is 180. Okay, Close Combat would be stronger than Terra Aqua Step. So what I should do is I should Terra Dark Sucker Punch the Primarina. Aqua Step the Sneasler for the Moxie boost. Then I get a Terra Dark Sucker Punch into Prima Arena. They take out King Gambit. Then I get a Close Combat at plus one into Prima Arena. Then I get another Close Combat at plus one into Prima Arena. I think I got this locked down. Unless, like, Sneasler gets Quick Attack? Uh, Aqua Jet Prima Arena could also be a thing. Oh, pretty good damage into Prima Arena there. And yeah, we are faster than Sneasler. Of course we are. Get on out of here and give me that Moxie. Here's where they Hyper Voice. And then I get a plus one close combat. Yeah. Plus Life Orb Chip. I was thinking they would Moonblast again. No, they wouldn't Moonblast. They would Hyper Voice here. They Moonblast? Why? Uh, I, the, the way I could have lost there would be Upper Hand Sneasler taking out my King Gambit. Yeah. But but now I got you locked down. I got Sucker Punch. I got Close Combat is, is the stronger move. Battle is just cancelled. Let's go Quackwaval! Quackwaval King Gambit with the pin. That was a tough one. GG. Alright. Incineroar, Dragapult, Porygon 2, Amoongus. Sneasler, Ursaluna. When they told me about Ensign P2, Amoongus, Ursaluna, that's not the Ursaluna I thought they were talking about. Uh, but this also has a Sneasler, just for no reason, probably Sash. Sneasler and Dragapult are just a good offensive combination outside of Trick Room. But I think against this team here, they're, they're gonna bring the Trick Room core. Ensign P2, Amoongus, Ursaluna. King Gambit can take advantage of that. King Gambit ain't bad, except into Sneasler, so I think they actually might bring Sneasler just for that reason. What's my answer into Amoongus? What is my answer into Amoongus? Uh, I can take Weather Control and throw big moves with our Chalodon. That is cool. Pelipper's Hurricane could be my answer. We're Terra Ghost? Yeah, so I could at least get a hit off there. Terra Ghost plus Dragapult actually might be able to get me through Porygon 2 because I can't be faked out. Yeah, I like that. Quackwaval because the rain's going to be up. Archaladon because the rain's going to be up. And Sturdy. Um, I didn't love Rillaboom here, but I do think King Gambit could have been good here. I also think Rillaboom would be good maybe only because it's immune to Spore. That's a decent trainer card. Uh, I'm not super confident I brought the right four because they have two modes, and what I want to bring for those two modes is very different. Amoongus Sneasler is not the mode I was wanting to see. But, this might not be the worst thing in the world.
They are not going to anticipate Hurricane going before Sneasler. That'll only happen if we're timid. We are! Okay, we're faster than a Sneasler. I know the numbers, I've been looking at that. I guess they could go into Rillaboom and trigger Unburden and then be faster, but whatever. Hurricane into Sneasler plus darts. I don't want to Terra my Pult. I also wonder if taking out a Moongus is more important. I'll hurricane the Sneasler and throw Dragon Darts. It's a fake out into Pelipper. That's fine. I guess I could have Terrastalized. That would have gotten me decent momentum. The Spore is just into Pulp. They're not ready. They're not ready for the Scarf Hurricane. Burn a turn of sleep with Pult even. I think they they're probably ready for a hurricane into Amoongus. That's why I want to surprise the Sneasler and get a hurricane there. And then try to wake up with Dragapult. Because they think they can get a sneaky dire claw in here. But no, their hurricane's coming first. Like sure they can put me to sleep. I really thought they would play more defensively with Amoongus. Either Terra or a swap there. Like the first turn with the fake out into the Pelipper. Maybe I should have Terra Ghosted. But I think Pelipper being asleep and having burnt a turn of sleep on Dragapult is better than the other way around. Now they're going to be able to get Trick Room. Clear body on their Porygon too. Uh, I think just burning sleep turns is the way here. Try to Hurricane Amoongus. Try to throw Dragon Darts. Amoongus swaps. Your last one must be Ursaluna then? Yeah, okay. Wouldn't hate a Dragon Darts into that. Uh, of course I'm still asleep. Pelipper has to be asleep. Alright, considering the Sash that I have in, and the Sturdy that I have in the back, I don't think a Swap is in the cards. Electro Shot probably isn't the way... Preserving rain would be nice, but not necessary. This is going to be a hard one to win. I'm going to throw everything I have into this Ursaluna if I'm allowed to do anything. I think Terra Normal Life Orb Hyper Voice. If this, if this KOs either. No, because Porygon 2 will have to attack first. If this can KO... Oh no, Ursaluna does attack first. Okay, they're min-speed Ursaluna. Okay, it does Oko Pelipper. That's what I was w wondering about, if it Oko's Pelipper. Because if it Oko's Pelipper, then the Porygon 2 gets to attack into Dragapult and take this double KO. Now, choice to Archaladon, but protect on Qu Quavel. Who would they likely double here? Uh, if they Hyper Voice, they can double Qu Quavel, but not take Archaladon. If they Earth Power, double Archaladon. I think, th I think their best move would be to double something here. I think I need to close combat the Ursa Luna and lock into probably Dragon Pulse. Also onto Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna is all their damage. Ursa Luna swapped. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, they have Thunderbolt on P2. Don't like that. It wasn't too much damage, honestly, though. A good Dragon Pulse. Close Combat's not going to finish that, though. Uh, now it should be Thunderbolt plus Spore. And 
the rain is over. Two turns of Trick Room remain. I protect to get Spored. If for some reason I don't get Spored, I Dragon Pulse Amoongus. I should lose this. I should, but it's not over. Because they should Spore our Chaladon. They don't know if I'm Terra Grass, though. They need to worry about that. And Thunderbolt Quaquavel. Sludge Bomb into Quaquavel. No, into our Oh, they were calling Terra Grass! They were calling Terra Grass. They just lost Amoongus for that. Big mistake, buddy. Okay, well, I still probably lose, but it's not over. Because this is the last turn of Trick Room. I need a Coquavel Double Protect, because I need to get a close combat in next turn. And I should Dragon Pulse the Ursaluna? The P2. Because they, they could totally Hyper Voice with Ursaluna this turn. Though I think it should be Earth Power Arch and Thunderbolt Quaquavel. My Terra doesn't change that. In fact, my typing is better this way in case they click a normal move. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the Ursaluna. Quaquavel does not hit the Double Protect. I think that's game over. But it's Blood Moon into Arch. Okay. Does a lot of damage. Did you Thunderbolt that slot? No, you Thunderbolt Quaquavel. Uh, there's no way I win this now. I would need to crit this Dragon Pulse to Oko or Saluna. Oh, I don't even do half? That's, yeah, it's definitely Assault Vest. Uh, I need to crit this one while they try to Trick Room. Live a Thunderbolt, crit that, it's not happening. And they have Vacuum Wave. Yeah, because they're Assault Vest. Of course they have Vacuum Wave. Good game. They kept trying to call my Terra, and I wasn't doing it, because I'm still weak to ground. Uh, it was a good game, though. I, I brought it as close as I could. GG. Alright, we've got Talonflame, Dragonite, Garchomp, Ninetales, Typhlosion, Rillaboom. Alright, so we've got to worry about Tailwind, we got to worry about Earthquake. Earthquake's not so big a deal with Rillaboom. Typhlosion's not going to be such a big deal, they don't seem to have sun anywhere. We're gonna have to bring Pelipper for Ninetales, but we can't lead it because we're Scarf. Unlikely that they would lead Ninetales, but just in case. Quaquavel? Honestly, not amazing, but I'm gonna bring it. Upper Hand is interesting, at least, for the Rillaboom. That's very interesting for the Rillaboom. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to successfully Electroshot turn one, so I don't want that. I think my own... I think Dragapult is the way I want to go. Dragapult... With... Actually, my King Gambit does have Iron Head. Yeah, Dragapult King Gambit with Quackwival and Pelipper in the back. I definitely want Pelipper in the back. I definitely want Quackwival also in the back. I need one of my dragons to be able to hit both of their dragons. I think Dragapult is the way. I'm Dragon Terra. I mean, Ninetales is going to be a problem for it, but that's what the King Gambit's Iron Head is for. And that is certainly a trainer card you have there. Alright. Talonflame Typhlosion. Okay. I have Sucker Punch Pressure. I have... Oh, you know that I'm Choice Banded. I'm worried about... I mean, Tailwind Eruption isn't going to get around Sucker Punch. I'm worried about... 
bringing in Nine Tails and burning my King Gambit. I think I might want to just throw darts and protect King Gambit. Throw a Dragon Darts. If they bring in Nine Tails, I just get to hit the Talon Flame twice. Protect King Gambit just to see if they have Will O Wisp. They don't make a swap. Oh, they quit guard. Okay. Let's see, are you Scarf Typhlosion then? No. Big damage on Talonflame. Big damage on Typhlosion. Oh, uh, and then they throw Heat Wave. They knew they would be slower. Okay. Heat Wave I can live with. Cool. Alright, I'm going to throw another pair of Dragon Darts. If you quit guard, Dragapult takes you both out. If you Tailwind, Sucker Punch takes out your Typhlosion. A little bit of a pin here. Alright. We got the Typhlosion. And then, uh, were we faster than Talonflame? We are slower than Talonflame, so they got Tailwind up. Okay. That's fine. I guess they're jolly and we're adamant. That's okay. Getting two KOs for their Tailwind, I think I'm okay with this. We're gonna get Weather Control. I'll probably have to swap Dragapult this turn anyway. Because here's Nine Tails. Oh, that's Garchomp. And here's Nine Tails. Okay, that one actually is Nine Tails. Good. Uh, I could Terra Dark Iron Head. Uh, they did preserve Terra. I mean, bringing in Pelipper seems the play. Right? Just take Weather from them. How useful is Pelipper? Maybe even get my own Tailwind up if I survive long enough. Yeah, I don't think Pel losing Pelipper would be that big a deal. Do I want to protect? Yeah, I want to protect King Gambit. I want to stall out their Tailwind as long as possible. I want to, pr I want to not lose my Pokemon until I can bring Dragapult back in to take care of the Garchomp, and then eventually I'll hit this Nine Tails with something. I really need to position an Iron Head into it. No Terra, just a Blizzard. King Gambit protects. Pelipper probably gets hit. No, Pelipper dodges. Okay, that's cool. I'll take that. And Stomping, yeah. Into King Gambit. Blizzard plus Stomping. Can King Gambit take that? Pelipper should be able to take that. Meaning I could put up my own Tailwind. Quackleval's slower than both anyway. So that would just be for Dragapult. Two turns of Tailwind. I think I'd be better off getting a hit. Weather Ball than Nine Tails. Terra Dark Iron Head the Nine Tails? No, I think I'll Weather Ball the Garchomp. Swap Quack with all in. Hopefully I got that in in time. I did not get that in in time. What? Ha oh, that's that's terrible. I wanted to bring in Quackleball just to stall. Oh, Dragon Claw. I don't hate that. They were reading the Terra, or the Swap, and I got a Kowtow cleave into the Garchomp. Phew, I love that. Oh, I'm totally cool with that. Here's Quackleball for you. Who cannot be KO'd because of the Sash. <laughs> King, Ga King Gambit ended up making a good play. No, I think the swap into Quackleball would have been fine there. Then we could double protect their last turn. We would have been fine. Uh, Quackleball is Sash. Cannot be taken out. I will Aqua Step the Ninetales. And pin the Garchomp with Sucker Punch. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, Garchomp has to protect, because it's going to get Sucker Punched. And then next turn, Quackleval is going to be the fastest thing on the field. Because Tailwind is about to end. Freeze Dry will do a ton. Doesn't KO, but we were Sash anyway. And take this. Oh, you did take it. That's fine. 
Tailwind is gone. That makes Quack of all fastest on the field. Aqua Step the Nine Tails. Sucker Punch the Garchomp. GG. Battle is canceled. Let's go, Quackwaval. Man, I'm, I'm sorry I timed out, but it ended up working out. All right, we've got a team that looks familiar. We've got Incineroar, Dragapult, Porygon 2, Amoongus, Sneasler, Blood Moon, Ursa Luna. Against this, Amoongus is a huge problem. I could have a fake out lead, but so could they with their Sneasler. I think Pelipper Pult is the way to play this, even though they're choice. But then I think it's Quaquavel and King Gambit. Sucker Punch with King Gambit is good in Trick Room. Focus Ash on Quaquavel is good for stalling Trick Room, and they both have Protect. I only have two Mons with Protect. So against Trick Room, I should probably be bringing them both. This is what I want to do. Will it work? I don't know. Will I remember to Terrastalize my Pelipper turn one? Oh, will they have a trainer card? No. This is a really strong team. I, I don't think it's a great matchup for mine. Sneasler Dragapult lead. Well, that's terrifying, because my Dragapult is adamant. I don't know what they want to risk. I could Terra Ghost Tailwind Darts. Oh, I'm not going to be faster than Dragapult with Pelipper. Ah, <laughs> great. Uh, King Gambit swap on Pult would be fine. Yeah, Terra Ghost, Hurricane the Sneasler, bring in my King Gambit. That's probably fine. If you want a close combat into my Dragapult turn one, I will just give you the win. Like, you must be screen peeking or something. Alright, here's a Terra. Uh, maybe they're Ghost Dragapult then. They are Dragon Dragapult. Okay, they're confident. I'm just terrestrializing to not get faked out. I don't think a single Dragon Dart is gonna knock out Pelipper either. If it does, <laughs> that's too strong. Fake out into my Dragapult slot. That's an interesting play. Darts does not KO Pelipper good. Unfortunately, this me with their Terra, they're not. Oh, crit on the King Gambit. Boo. Sneasler with the Sash. Unfortunately, they can just Darts again. And Pelipper just kind of has to take it. I will Hurricane the Pult, Sucker Punch Sneasler? Sucker Punch, if I Sucker Punch Pult, they lose half of Pult and get to close combat and Dragon Darts, and I lose both Pokemon. If I Sucker Punch the Sneasler, at minimum my Force of Protect, lose Pelipper, get a swap. Yeah, I think I have to sack Pelipper here. They might swap their Dragapult, they did not. This is P2. Okay. And they trace. Defiant. That's not gonna matter since they don't have Terra anymore. Uh, Sucker Punch should have been on Dragapult then, I guess. How confident they are. Should I go to my Dragapult and hope for a speed tie? Yeah, would Quaquavel be faster at plus one? Next one doesn't KO, that's good. 137 times 1. 1.5 is 205. If they're jolly, me at plus one isn't going to catch them. I don't want to risk a speed... Like, at best, Dragapult gets a speed tie. 
they could be jolly. I can't protect with either in this position. I need to get the Aqua Step speed boost for Dragapult. What do I? I guess I could Aqua Step Pult and Kowtow Cleave it. Then if they swap it, the Aqua Step goes first, and then I get the Kowtow Cleave. There's no way I'm stopping the darts from happening. Huge damage into Quackwall, of course. King Gambit. King Gambit's taking these pretty hard. Not loving that. I guess that could have been a close combat, but I want to be faster than. Ooh, okay. Thunderbolt. Not Trick Room. That's good, because if Trick Room was their play, knowing their Dragapult was going to go down. I have my Dragapult left. I like having my Dragapult left. Hang on, that's pretty good. Don't know if I can KO the Porygon. Unless I go for Outrage. They have Sneasler and Ursa Luna. If they protect their Ursa Luna, both darts go into Porygon too. They don't want that. Probably just Thunderbolt my King Gambit, right? I'm gonna Darts and Sucker Punch Ursa Luna. They are faster! They are faster and have Vacuum Wave. I thought they would be a slower Ursa Luna. And that Dragon Darts is doing nothing. Uh, GG. <laughs> That's gonna be an L. Uh, King Gambit, what's your speed? You're not even slow! Okay, well, they're not a slower Saluna. They're not min speed. Do they have tail? They're not min speed or Saluna. I guess they're just neutral speed. Because this, this King Gambit doesn't have speed on it. It's not speed creeping anything. They can just be neutral. There is zero chance. Look how little Dragon Darts did. There's zero chance I can do anything. I am out of here. Good game to my opponent. Just playing that Dragapult so risky turn one. Go get a trainer card. And we're back. I like this team a lot. I wish I understood that one Trick Room matchup a little bit better. Like, I'm not sure exactly what I need to bring. Maybe I needed to put Rillaboom in there. But anyways, super cool team. Super fun team. Go ahead and try it out yourself. Reynolds in the corner. But anyways, I'm Jordy. And, uh, alright. Peace.